Yo, what's up Tarnish? It's your boy Alvi and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Jujutsu Chronicles. It's not role bending, it's Chronicles, all right? So, in Chronicles, you know, they just added the this new little update for y'all. And I'm gonna just basically break it down and just get through it real quick, you know, so I can understand how it works and what you need to do. And these are actually the devs' words and not mine, so you just know that they're classified, all right? But make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy my intro. Yo, alright, now we're back. Listen, 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 listen. So... Who is this? Oh, this is Nick. Huh? Oh, this is Azure. All right, so this is how it works, right? So you know how they have the veil, right? So this new update, what it does is, because a lot of people are like, yo, how do I get spins? How do I get drops and stuff? Since they don't have the PVP, well, the PVE aspect of the game, they made a quick load system in a way for you to get drops from killing players whenever this event happens within the game. It's going to, you know, spawn in a bubble over everybody and everybody has to fight. And then within that bubble, you can get orbs, spins, or either, uh, I think, a weapon drop. Hold on. Let's confirm that actually right now. Just going to go back and look at our conversation. Um, Yeah, so it spawns every 45 to 90 minutes. Basically, it's a battle, it's basically it's a battle royale and a barrier and kills drops coins um which will be used for shops and stuff all right it dropped coins which will be used for the shop so the shops over here you know the shop areas over here you get the spins and stuff like that you get these right here and i'm assuming they're going to add like a coin system where you can you know use your use your coins and y'all have to fight it out duke it out and you know make something work but they are working on a pve system on a pve system so give the game some time the game is the game is really good you know what i'm saying the game is really good and they put a lot of work into it and i honestly don't want the game to die i want the game to do great because pv bro pv pvp is actually pretty fun not gonna lie like them scaling everything like even with um infinity you beat like they did a good job at that and look they're working on raids and pve and stuff like that I'll see, like, I hope they end up adding, like, you know, some NPCs walking around, some world events where you fight some, somebody that's trying to, like, I don't know, Gojo, so, and, or you try to stop Maharaga from, you know, destroying the city. And then, you know, these are all scripts that they have to do, and, and, and you have to keep in mind, bro, it's only two people, I think, are one person scripting the game. So, the more of y'all that play the game and stay in the game and actually try to gain, like, an ability from this, you know, new, um, blah 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 new event thing that they added the more you know it funds him to help him push out the game you know buy a battle pass here and there you know so it can fund actually you know him trying to get like a, a better staff member you, you could put in some tips he also added um x amount training he added instant spins he added tips you know you can give him 25 25 robux will help believe it or not 25 robux will help so any little help you know something to motivate them to keep the game pushing i think this is a great project i think they're they have something in their hands and i hope this game does great really have high expectations for it and i really want to like grow with the game for sure i want to work with them and i want to continue to work with them i really do like the game i had a great time the staff team treated me like yo they made me feel special man i'm, I'm just gonna say that all right they, they treated me well they treated me well so they have my loyalty i respect them i respect the game and you know it's pretty fun so far. It's been fun. Like whenever I, I, I have nothing to play, I literally hop on the game and start PvPing. That's literally what I was doing now. I was just PvPing. I'm like, oh shoot, the title changed. Hold on. And I went to the Discord. Alright? I think I should give it a try. So it's a Jujutsu Kaisen game. So if you're into um Jujutsu Kaisen the anime, they did a pretty good job. They have Sukuna. They have you you could fire Sukuna um fingers, and I think it's a percentage for you to get the actual Sukuna curse technique. Or like the the, the curse like thing. Like it possessed you. So you can still have a curse technique and still be able to use Sakuna's ability. So that's what you see here. 
you can be able to use Sukuna's abilities. You're able to get Gojo's abilities, but you need like, like the six eyes and stuff like that. I think to unlock certain extra abilities, like you get Hollow Purple, I think, with six eyes and stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it's a cool mechanic, you know. But enough rambling, enough talking. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family, and hopefully, I enjoy this new event. Let me know how it goes down below in the comments. See, I did, I crushed the last video I posted for this game, and you know, let's crush this video. Let's get, let's get, let's get 60 likes. I think we could do 60 likes. Let's get 60 likes on this video. You know, crush it up, crush it up, and catch on the next one. Like I like to say, brush your hair, take care. Yeek is out.